Okay, Linda, here it goes. So I'll spin it and that. Then take this down, take it apart first. This out. Okay. Then, see if I can get them too close. So I'm going to lift this off like this. Okay. And pull it off. Okay. And this part, you have to kind of work the edges. Okay. Oops. Okay. Like that. Get that cat off. Okay. Now, you can take this out. Just lift this up. Okay, and this one, it has to slide back and out. Okay, so it's got that little dent underneath that slides on there. Okay, so what I usually do is I slide this on first. To me, it's easier to do it that way. And then I take this and I kind of wiggle it around where it sits firmly and it's all together and it's tight. So this is tight against here and this is tight against there. Okay. And then, take this little basket and push it down and spin, make sure it's working. Okay. Then, I take this and I put it, it's got to be seated just right in that groove in the, in the front piece. And then down and into to where it's smooth across here and sealed. So it has to it has to fit just right. And you'll be smooth. You can feel all around it. And you wiggle it, you push down on it and wiggle it and it's not gonna come off. Push down on it and wiggle it. If it's not on there right, this bar is not gonna go up. So then you just take the bar, and there's a little groove right here on the side, on each side. That little groove right there is where it's going to slide up into. But it will, you don't have to do anything. You can do it gently and until you get right to there, and then hold it down. Hold the top down. I'm doing it with one hand. Uh, so, ah! Hold it down and then push because it's got a seal. So it'll, and then it'll snap right into that slot right there. So see, it, when it comes off, it doesn't come off real easy. You have to kind of force it. But, and when you put it back, you have to kind of force it, but you can feel it sliding and it's not going to stop. It just slides into place right there into that slot. Okay, so now it's ready, and then you just put your food in there, put your top back in there. And make sure that the flat side is on the flat side of the um, of this part as well. And um, okay, so it's all ready. You can plug it in. So yours is the same exactly. This this will be smooth. This part here will be all smooth. Because sometimes I put this on wrong before I put this up. Because this won't go up if it you have to kind of force it, but it's not <laughs> okay. It's kind of hard to do with one hand. But you can feel it smoothly stepping into place. Now if I don't put this part on right, like for instance, 
after I get this full back here, or almost full, we need to take this off and remove it so you, in case you're making more and you want to pull it from like this, it's hooked up here. It's, it's up under this ledge right here. So you want to pull it like this and let it come out that way. And when you, if you want to put it back in while you've got this top already on here, you can do it like this. You just slide it and it snaps into place. So you slide it out and you slide it back like that. And you can empty that stuff out and then keep going if you have more that you want to, more juice you want to make. And then get you some empty bottles, save some empty bottles for, like I showed you my wine bottles that I use for Shabbat. I, sh I just put them in that, but you can use any glass. I wouldn't use anything but glass because it doesn't retain or, or take any of the plastic into the flavor. And, um, and uh, you know, some fruits are acidic a little bit, so that will help too. Like lime juice, when you make your lime <laughs> Your lime juice, you can make it, you know, <laughs> it's acidic, so you want to put it in glass, uh, but all juices I would put in glass. I put everything in glass anyway, so, because it doesn't uh, uh, let anything else leach into it from the, no, the plastic does. So, okay, so that's it, and when you go to take it off, you want to just... I just do my finger like this and kind of pull up on as I go around it and then it'll it'll come out and then let me take this back off okay so you can actually put this one on after let me slide that off you can put this have this on okay Okay, there, let's see, I did that without, I did that last, because if you want to take it off to empty it, you can actually leave that part on, but you just want to go at an angle, and then slide it, get it up under there, and then slide it into place, and then check and make sure it's sealed, it's sitting on there good and tight. And you kind of, it won't move much. And then you can't feel the edges sticking out around here. Okay. And, um, oh, I didn't put that back on there. So I'll take this off. And then we'll put this back in here. And I usually just spread out my hand. And that kind of makes it go to evenly. And then spin it and make sure it's spinning. Make sure that's up under there good. And then put this on like this and then feel and make sure that the edges are smooth before you raise this up and put this part on okay that's it